to the Cobblestone Chronicles. As always, this is Zul'jin. And as y'all can probably tell, I'm in a much more relaxed state today. <laughs> no more tension, guys. The last few days have been pretty cool. I, um, I got some stuff to tell y'all about how things went down with, uh, with my manager based on the last time we had talked. And all in all, it was a really, really good week. Um, I'm having a good week so far, and I kind of wanted to lay something out for you guys. First of all, I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm doing here. Uh, again, I'm just placing dirt so that I can measure out glass and trying to get some ideas of what kind of windows I'm going to be doing. Now, I'm going to try a few different things with some fence as well, just to get the windows a little bit more different um, and not so uniform. I don't know if it's going to work out, but... I do want to make it to where this is a real authentic looking um, build, you know, really, really unique looking. So um, I'm going to do some menial tasks and kind of lay out some of the things that I'm going to be doing. Also, the episodes, guys, I'm going to try to kind of divide them half and half because it's been increasingly more difficult for me to work while I'm like telling a story or speaking about something. Um, then and uh, and I can hardly concentrate on my work and I do need to get some work done also I realize a good portion of you actually love the the Minecraft building aspect and content so I'm, I'm gonna struggle to find a balance here with it but I hope you guys can put up with the, <laughs> this transitional period I've been getting some um, some pretty exceptional feedback lately so thank you for all of you that have been um, supportive and uh, talking to me about what you guys want those things really help me in the process of making videos um, These few windows, I don't know like I said if I'm gonna leave them like this But I'm just trying to measure out some dirt and see what happens just so I can change up some stairs I might end up wait wasting some glass, but oh well, uh, I'll need to harvest some sand and burn some more glass anyway so without further ado, not leaving, not to leave you in suspense, this, uh, this, this whole thing with my boss that went down, uh, really, really passed over quite, uh, quite gracefully. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was, and it really wasn't. Um, it turns out that once my, uh, once my boss found out, found out how, um, oh, he didn't find out. I I'll tell you how it went down went into work the, the next day right after I talked to you guys and um, was really really <clears throat> dead set on just going straight up to him and talking to him I was, it was eating me up all night I couldn't stand it anymore so what ended up happening is I went straight into work went to clock in I was gonna talk to him right away and lo and behold the big bosses were there now I wasn't going to do anything to to, to, I didn't want to take the chance of getting mad in front of a big boss and, and really going out because naturally my immediate supervisor and I have a much more, um, oh, I don't know how you could say it, regular relationship, you know, than, uh, than my, his supervisor and I for sure. So if I would say anything inappropriate based on the current situation, he would probably understand. So what I ended up doing is waiting I, I just waited game you know i just uh i got to work i didn't worry about it i just started doing my work and um started getting on the sales floor and just doing my thing well finally he uh he actually comes up to me and him and the big boss and the big boss needed to order some sort of service i don't know something that's relatively hard to get um which is um wired because nobody wants to buy home phones. <laughs> Almost everybody has internet now. So uh, he comes up to me and he's like, hey, I need you to order um, wired service for, um, for or whatever. So uh, that hardly ever happens. You know, you don't get any, um, you don't get any breaks like that, you know? So I thought that was pretty cool. And, you know, there's, um, there's a required accessory for the type of service you wanted and it's it's like a hundred dollars or whatever so I was like uh, you know um, <laughs> uh, boy it's it and we didn't have we have to order them actually and I said boy it's a shame that 
Um, we couldn't sell her one of these since my accessory numbers needed to be brought up so much. And I said it smug, you know, and he shook his head like he knew where I was going with it. Um, another thing is what I neglected to tell you guys last time, and I wasn't too sure about it, but uh, my my accessory numbers were the best in the store at the time. They're still the best in the store. So he, uh, and, and I know he probably realized that afterwards, after looking at it, because he, he it looked like he put his foot in his mouth. <laughs> he, he really, probably, he, he probably felt pretty darn stupid about coming at me like that. So anyway, long story short, he ends up going to the, uh, the big boss and, um, I mean, the big boss ends up leaving and he ends up coming to me and, you know, you can tell it was on his mind or something was on his mind that he, he wanted to talk about it. And, um, so I, I just broke the ice right then and there and I came straight out and said, you know, yesterday when I left, man, you burnt me up. I was really, really pissed off, Jerry. You know, there's there's no reason that you should have came at me like that. And I said, I don't know if you checked your numbers, but uh, he said, yeah, I saw that. And he said, I don't know why um, I came at you like that. You know, he said, maybe it was just they've been pressuring me and I've been reacting. And I said, I hear you, you know, and I said, but y'all got to realize, I said, y'all pressure us just like that all the time, too. And it's it's just it's not cool, dude. You know, it, it really makes us upset. It doesn't help anything. It sure doesn't motivate me to do anything good. You know, so I said, that's that's something that you're just going to have to deal with. Right? I'm, I'm here to tell you I'm not going to take it, you know. And so he, he understood and he apologized and everything went all good. So. Yay me for standing up for myself. I, I felt really, really accomplished after that conversation, you guys. I really did. <clears throat> Let's see. These window inserts are kind of like those, I want to say. Yeah, all the pillaring is the same. You know, for the, for the walls, I don't know if... It's weird. It, it's just, it's weird how these things sit. I'm just trying to figure out what looks good and what doesn't. I think the only way I'm going to really know is by putting glass on everything, which sucks because I'm going to waste a lot of materials. But it's really the only way that I can determine what looks good and what doesn't. You know? Um, I like the inset look at the panes. Oh, some of you had mentioned that I, um, I should put glass on above the doors and I, pl I plan on doing that I just don't know how I'm gonna do it yet uh, how wide how tall uh, this and that if I'm gonna use full blocks or half blocks and I probably need to get in let me go to sleep guys and I'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen I started burning some sand too to get uh, a little bit of glass going um, three stacks that's about all that I wanted to um, to mess with right now and oh i need to make some glass panes right quick i hope these enemies don't take any of my blocks yeah get out of here crazy let's see what i got here got plenty enough glass to at least start off three of each and one of these babies there we go i got 48 panes to work with for now and i I never really noticed that stairs do look different on the inside. So that's a little weird. It's the the line is is visible. So that might be something that we can take into consideration for design. I uh on the back, now that I'm thinking about it, I may not do that many windows. If I take maybe let's take off some of these. I want some more texture on these walls. Uh, at least this wall and what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna utilize stairs to do that not too sure I'm gonna try the whole wall without windows first and then we'll try something else so the first thing I want to do is let's make a whole bunch of stairs I'm just kinda jumping around from idea to idea here guys just try to get inspired let's see Let's do some more. I got plenty of this dark wood. I got plenty of apple wood too. I got plenty of everything actually. So we should be fine. Let me just make a bunch of freaking stairs. Yeah, that's a good start. 
18. That didn't just matter. Oh no, 18 and 64. Okay, I was tripping. I was like, what? Gotta be more than that. Okay, good deal. Now I'm gonna start putting stairs, and what I'm gonna do is try to just make um, to see if these lighting glitches come up if I do some lines in the wood. And what I'll do is I'll just start by laying out stairs right here. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to come back with just dark wood right underneath. And it's just going to make a single notch in the wood. I really wish this was, oh, I do have some, I can just follow it like this, I guess. So yeah, it's going to be like a single notch, almost like a groove throughout the entire back. And I was thinking about doing this with walls on the other side, but I really think windows will be uh, a better addition. I wish I could do it with birch stairs, but I can always come back and change that once the patch goes out. It's mainly just messing with ideas right now. So, okay, let's try this. See if the lighting glitches aren't too horrible. Sometimes it just, the lighting glitches make things look cool. And sometimes it just looks bad. On that exposed like this, if I don't seal it, if I seal in the whole thing, I don't think I'll have any of that problem. But let's see. Yeah, cool. No lighting glitches. So that just makes like a shadowed effect, and I don't think that's too deep. It may come off as striping. I don't know if I should have did it one level up or what. So let's just do the whole wall like that. Oh no. Now you see we gotta switch up to make it look like it's uniform. So for, to do that, I'm going to need to place them here. Yeah. See, I won't be able to do them upside down because the gaps just appear too far from each other and it doesn't look like a whole board. So I think that will be where I want. Because I want the planks just to have an offset look between each other. Almost like a... I don't know if y'all ever uh, messed around with carpentry any or are familiar with any carpentry terms, but there's a joint called a dado or a rabbit, and um, that's what I was kind of going for, kind of like a routered look, even though the gap here is a much larger than the router bit. Uh, Minecraft routers, that's the next thing. Somebody needs to make a mod of that right quick. <laughs> <laughs> so I can router my walls up. Okay. So now if I come out with another piece of stair like this, yeah, that gives me the whole wood. Now this is very, very resource intensive, guys, but I mean, I have tree forms, so I'm not really worried about that. I just want a very cool look. This would, the, the builds, like a lot of the builds I dream up of, would would so totally be awesome if it came down to uh, creative, but creative building uh, where there's there's need for it and call for it and there's a lot of fun to it. I, I like the survival aspect of it just because it makes it that much more interesting. And I don't know, call me a uh, call me old fashioned, but that's just how I I like it. Let's see, and I might do stairs all the way at the bottom here too really all depends I don't think also something else that I've been thinking about guys the floor inside maybe y'all can let me know about this now I'm thinking of using um, full wood you know like uh, logs I'm not too sure I might do the chocolate floor uh, I might do birch floor too I'm not gonna do the in stone um, first of all I don't have it but I do like the way it patterns up but I'm not really fond of the uh, the look of it um, with this style of building, I guess I should say. Let's see. That looks pretty cool. See, on the inside, that would have looked cool too. And I thought about doing stairs on the inside as well to make these grooves. But I really don't. I, w I really want to be able to hang paintings <laughs> or do some other decorations. Okay, and... You know what? I might do stairs on the very bottom too. Oh, so yeah, not to get too off track. The floor here, I really am thinking about doing it on the level that the ground is. So there's no in or out. Uh, I was originally going to do half slabs, but when I, I, I've been reading a little bit on the 1.3 update and stuff, and 
I have recently found out that half slabs will no longer prevent monsters from spawning. So um, that's a bust. That's that's a bust idea there. It's not going to help any to put half slabs, and it's only going to take. Uh, it won't take more resources because they kind of even out on resources, but um, it's not going to help any. So need you guys feedback on that. What should I do? Should I use the ground floor? Should I use the very bottom and make it lift? As it is, until Mojang figures out what they want to do with uh, with the way lighting works, we need spawn-proof blocks. It's it's really really come down to that. You know, in survival, you should be able to make a secure perimeter without lighting up every single square inch of uh, of space. Yeah, I mean you really do. the The light ranges. Um, should be a little bit more forgiving. Maybe you should be able to perimeter some sort of zone. Uh, I, I don't know what the answer is, but I do know that it's very, very frustrating to have to put torches all over the place just to light things up because it doesn't look good, you know. Um, to make this whole thing safe right now, I would have to lay down 20 or 30 torches and then it just, I don't know, who the heck cares about design when torches are decorating everything, you know what I mean? As it is, we have plenty of placed on, and they aren't conspicuous, but I don't know, maybe they should make them invisible. I wouldn't mind placing them, um, but I don't think they should, um, I don't think they should be visible. Alright, so, the back wall is, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I want to do any windows back here. Let's try a sample window and see what it looks like. We can start from... Uh, it really makes it hard with the way that I did the gap up here. We almost have to do the full-size windows like I did in the back. I mean I did in the front. Let's see. So if we do this... Yeah, let's do small it might look weird, y'all. Might just look retarded. I don't know. <laughs> that's why I'm trying stuff. I think that's gonna be too big, personally. But we'll try it. All right. So if I did just regular glass panes, right here. Let's see what it looks like. They won't freak out on the sides now. I, I didn't know how they were going to react with the other blocks at first. Oh, yeah. See, we can't do that. We would have to incorporate a frame of some sort. And, yeah. And I don't think I want to do that. Even if I did whole glass blocks. No, it, it wouldn't do. Okay. So... That idea is out, I believe. So, entire back wall, unless I did some sort of a frame for these, maybe I could do birch. No. Yeah, maybe. Well, no. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do anymore. Shucks. Okay. Let's try for a birch frame. No, let's not. I think I'm going to cap it off. That's what I'm going to do. Yep, I'm going to cap it off. I am going to go with no windows for now. We got windows all over the rest of the place, so that should be good. And it is getting creeper time as well, which worries me. The days seem to go by so fast. Um, uh -oh, that's not what I wanted at all. So that's just to share a little bit of thought process with you guys. Um, I think I'm going to try my best and get these walls done and some more glass work done. And I'm going to get a little bit further into the build and bring you guys back in for, um, I guess, the, the next part or whatever we're going to do. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it last night. Hey, it doesn't look 
even close to where we want it to be for episode 100 because <laughs> this build is going to be massive but that's okay we're still going to try to do something special for episode 100 I promise i'm going to go get some sleep get some more building done you guys and uh when we come back i'll show you where we at we'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen i think i have a look that i'm pretty comfortable with even though i didn't glass this in yet um i felt that i had made a significant amount of progress so i figured i should fill you all in i don't know if i'm gonna keep this so square i thought about maybe having a round edge but i'm not gonna do it the whole wall it's not gonna be um the whole thing's not gonna be round let me place this glass and i'll try to show y'all exactly what i'm talking about okay so this middle here okay I, I these two sections so to speak i can do something semi-round right here like kind of like that let me represent with dirt blocks i guess i should do it Let's see these are two so we can do it would come out from here i guess so we could do one one two one two one two and that is yeah I don't know if that's gonna be the perfect shape but where did I start that one let's see I started it here so one one two one two one two okay and that would be the semi round and I could do a cool little window right here but I don't know exactly if I should or not also I thought about maybe just doing some rounded type landscape in our water feature here, but I want to keep it tavernish. So I just want a very, very extravagant look. And I think by rounding this outside wall here, it would look good. I actually thought about rounding the whole thing too, but I don't know. <laughs> that might that might be real difficult to do with the windows. Uh, it might be overkill. So y'all let me know. I have a lot of wall texture going on here. The back wall, I hope. I can support it with paintings. If I can't, I'm going to totally seal it in here and make it solid because I do want to put some paintings here. Um, I went ahead and just did the raised window here. And this is where the bar area is going to be, I believe. This is where the, the little bar keeps it going to sit back here, the bar and the bar back. <laughs> and um, I'm going to have a little seating area here, maybe some tables and chairs in the lobby here. Um, uh, I haven't decided much yet, but this is definitely going to be the uh, the bar area. I think I'm going to do a check-in area here. I don't know. Um, I might do the check-in area here and the bar here. It really all depends. It seems like the bar would have to be bigger, um, but I'm really not sure. Maybe a restaurant slash bar type stuff. I'm not too sure, but I thought this was a cool look because it'll still give you some idea of what the reception area is. I'll still be able to do some more of the bar area. Um, with a little bit of light peeking in and um, yeah, I don't know, it'll be designed to, to do that specifically. Um, windows above the doors, that's what I'm kind of stuck on right now. Uh, I'm thinking that I want to keep the same style, but it took away, like it, to me it just looked better like this. Let's see, no, I actually had it one higher. So to make it do really what I wanted to do, it would definitely need to be <laughs> birch stairs right there, I think. Um, but I mean, I can still do regular stairs. That's what I was planning on doing and the top would have to be regular stairs. So maybe I'll just change that out later. Um, yeah, keep that. And then for the very top, they need to be stairs. So I'm gonna need to dirt that in can't wait until you can just select half slabs if that ever comes to pass let's see so I need four my axe is gonna go any second now I can feel it I'm working it to death okay so now we got regular stairs and glass panes am I out yes steady running out of materials you guys I'm gonna have to stock up for the next episode when we start off on the 
the next floor. I might as well do a lot more because of that outside wall here. 48 is a good start. I'm always conservative because I don't know if I'll need real glass or not again. I mean, not to say real glass. Oh, that doesn't help either. Glass walls. Uh, the, I mean, full glass blocks. Okay. So that's done. And I cannot reach these. Great. Break. Break yourself. Alright. Done. Okay. So, for the next episode, you guys, please leave me a little bit of feedback. I need to know if you guys like the back wall like this. I need to know if I should come out rounded. What do y'all think about this whole scenario? Um, how y'all liking the design so far in general? And um, and what do y'all think about the lighting situation as well? Those are the two things. Those are the few things that I think I'll be working on next episode, along with getting some of that second floor done. Um, I think it's coming along quite well. It's really really nice. Um, it's going to be a cool build. <laughs> I guarantee it. It's, it's turning out to be a lot of fun. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Zuljin signing off, and have a good one.